Today, February 17, 2021, is Ash Wednesday. I invite you to reflect with me on the theme, Return to the Lord. My dear brothers, my dear sisters in Christ, today, Ash Wednesday, marks the beginning of the Lenten season for this year, 2021. I warmly welcome you all to this season of grace when our reflection on the suffering and death of Christ in a special way puts us in the mood for sorrow and repentance for our sins and our sinfulness. Today, dear friends, marks the beginning of our 40 day journey. We should come to an end with Easter when we begin a new life in full reconciliation with God. As we take a walk with Jesus in the next 40 days, let us try to be more aware of the presence of God so that in the presence of His holiness, we may be freed from the bondage of sin to enjoy the glorious liberty of children of God. Our Lenten journey is uniquely marked by the three traditional practices of prayer, fasting, and thanksgiving. Through prayer, we make room for God in our hearts as we communicate with Him more fervently and so enter into a deeper relationship with Him. By fasting, we deny ourselves of food and other forms of bodily pleasure so as to free our souls from any form of material distraction that could stop us from rising up to God in prayer. When we give arms, we take upon ourselves the work of Christ, bringing succor, hope, and consolation to the least of our brethren. As is the custom on Ash Wednesday, we place ashes on our heads. When we do so, we make a public declaration that we are dust and we are nothing without God and the good news of salvation. We accept that our friendship with God has been weakened by sin and so declare to the world that we depend on the mercy of God. And as we mark ourselves as beneficiaries of God's mercy, we take advantage of the opportunity to start afresh and begin anew. Like soldiers worn out by raging battle, the season of Lent is an opportunity for us to do the three hours, retreat, re-examine and renew our inner selves so as to prepare adequately for the joy that comes from the victory of Easter. We may have been battered by sin, tossed around by the popular culture of our time, humiliated by the harsh economic realities, seduced by the inordinate craze for material things, harassed by the insecurity in our land. Perhaps as a result of these, we are at the verge of giving up on God's readiness to take control. Beginning today, dear brothers and sisters, let us draw closer to Jesus as He wishes to draw closer to us and renew our confidence in His mercy and compassion. Our Lenten journey will be successful if we keep step with the Master. He will take us by the hand and lead us in the path of righteousness through the waters of rebirth and renewal into the glorious liberty of the children of God at Easter. 
and may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>